took an extended uh summer extended break summer break accidentally um i'm sure all of you had all kinds of crazy things go on mm -hmm. it seemed like every weekend in july from the first one like we recorded that one episode and then vacation activities work. Yeah. somebody um, had something to do that every week. weekend yeah. all the and parents weekend. to get the kids into school which they're in they're, they're there. They're in. Ooh. But they're tired. We made like, it. Mama tired. They the, tired. The kids is tired. <laughs> like, they were not, I don't think they were mentally ready. Like, Eliza, for sure, was not mentally ready to start, I don't believe. Like, this week has been. At least she didn't go to Jefferson County. Oh, I, my gosh. <laughs> that was insane. Yeah, I know. I'm, I assume... I've seen it on national news. So the mm -hmm. one of the counties very close to us, it's the county that Louisville is in, is Jefferson mm -hmm. County. And they are having serious issues with their transportation. Um, the first day of school when they opened up, the last child to get home was dropped off at 9.58 p.m. And they've been out of school ever since while they try and get that sorted out. Oh, so. it's snow days. Yeah, so fortunately, that has not happened where we are. No. I wonder how long it's going to be before they put them on online learning. They're they supposed to go out. back to school Wednesday was the okay. last thing that I saw. Okay. And the bus union is trying to get them to simplify the routes because some of these buses are going over in, across the entire city and back and are not given enough time to do it. Make any sense. And it doesn't make any sense when, you know, I might not realize there's busing and you get to go to magnet schools and stuff like that, which mm -hmm. makes it more difficult. But they used to like, you you would go to your home school, catch yep. a bus from there to go to the magnet school, yep. or you would stay on the bus and go to the depot and catch another bus to go down to the magnet school. Yeah. And it worked. Well, so... Well. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is now, but apparently they paid some company lots of money. That was beforehand. The company they paid out of Boston is who developed this hot mess route that they followed. Ooh. And then when they followed up on that company, they'd had listed all these other schools that they'd worked with, and those schools had no idea who this company was. So the plot has thickened in that direction as well. Oh my gosh. It's a mess. It's a mess. It is. I swear it if it's is. not one thing, it's another. Mm -mm. My heart goes out to the parents that are, you know, I hope they have jobs that are understanding of the fact that they can't make it into work because they're home with their kiddos. And yeah. Ugh, what a nightmare. Yeah, and Which wasn't too bad. She was just about maybe 10 or 15 minutes late off normal, like when I normally would see the middle school bus go by. So mm -hmm. that's not bad. Yeah, First that's, day she got home pretty 10 good. 15 minutes later, but then I had to get everybody, make sure they were on the right bus. And right. Yeah, exactly. That's like, pretty good. That's yeah. not bad at all. Go ahead. We're not in school. The only complaint we had was that they sent out this link saying, oh, check the bus routes. Our house was not lo listed. House caddy corner not listed house caddy corner the other direction not listed actually there were no houses listed on our road but one i'm not even sure anybody gets on the bus at that house and <laughs> so we're like mm, wing it yeah <laughs> and didn't he say that max and dave's name was still oh on yeah the they, bus we routing? took that yeah we took that off <laughs> last year. well it was like on the infinite campus thing okay in, on yeah. our infinite campus it was weird so she gets dropped, like, they're coming by that first day. And I, I was, I got, I get home for her now. Because I get mm. off work at 3, so I'm here, like, 3.15 or so. And I'm like, hey, I'll go out and wait for her. Not, basically, because I was fairly certain the bus driver was going to pass her up because she doesn't ride in the morning. Mm -hmm. She does a morning mentor program at the elementary school to help out teachers and stuff. So they go. And I hear him trucking along. He drops off a kid, comes by, go 
goes past our house but starts to slow down, drops the kid off, not at his house, but not at our house, <laughs> like somewhere in between. So they both just get off. I was like, she she asked that morning, she's like, what do I do if he passes my house? And I was like, well, yell at him. If he stops at Lucas's house, get off at Lucas's house and walk. And yeah. she was like, okay. Or she just did. yell, you missed my stop. Right, she'll you swing back around. But anyway, it's gone. She's had a couple days in. Your kiddos have had a couple days in. Yep. My yep. grandkids start this Wednesday. Oh, and your littlest starts Wednesday. My youngest starts Wednesday. And um, yeah. yeah, I'll actually be able to like drop him off. And I have um, two whole kid free hours a day. Nice. So, yeah. Yep. That'll and be then excellent. I'm also doing car rider line this year um, for dropping them off and then for pickup in the afternoon. So that'll be obviously super good news on the knitting front. Um, yeah, get there 10 minutes early. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. Just sit there and knit socks. And I, 10 minutes early ain't it. I don't no, know the last time you hour early. For real. I had to go to, um, really? had to, go to my son's elementary school for a meeting because... Um, he struggles with change, and on his first day, he stripped naked, and uh, yeah. he that's didn't hurt cool. anybody though. He kept his undies on. Hey, um, did he fall naked? No, it was hot. So anyway, he just needed to breathe a little bit. We just we went to the school just to talk about things that they can do to help him be successful, and things we do to help him at home to get through his day, and. If I'm lying, I'm dying. When I pulled up to have that meeting at 1.25 mm -hmm. p.m., there was somebody already in line for pickup. Netta, they don't let them children out till 2.25. Yep. So this person was so determined to be first that they were willing to sit there an hour to be sure. Like, yeah. And then I go directly from that to picking up my daughter at the middle school, which was an hour later at 3.25, and I was not the first car in line. Like, y'all are nuts. I've got better things to do than, even if I don't. That, probably, do. that person is probably just playing on their phone, too, not making good use of their time. I know, oh, yeah. but, like, that's just... I, uh, Eliza rides the bus. It's hot. Abby, Abby rides it in the morning because originally she was all about it. She was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get dropped off, and I'm going to get picked up. And then I was like, that's cool. We leave the house at 6.15 for drop-off. Now, otherwise, she catches the bus at 8 a.m. So she was like, you know what? I'm going to take the bus in the morning. You don't have to worry about me. <laughs> I don't blame her. Smart. I do Smart. not I blame the same her. Thing. I'm like, I'll catch you all at 4 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, all the kids are in school, and we are adapting to our new normal as far as schedules and stuff go so it's awesome i'm kind of glad to be back because it feels like the weeks have more structure and it's not all willy-nilly like what am i doing today mm -hmm. i feel like there's a little bit more of that yeah right predictability yes that's the word i agree but while we were on break from you guys and the kids were on break from school <laughs> we were not on break from knitting or being social. No. Um, oh gosh, no. Or buying. Or buying. Or, or buying. <laughs> no, let's just be honest here. Well, let's knock out our FOs because I know we haven't seen you all in a while and we do have some things. And um, yeah, let's knock that out. Okay. Our acquisitions are going to take a long time. Especially are... because they come with story time because we got all the acquisitions at a knitting retreat. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Can we start? Yes, please okay. do. I have well, three. First of all, we need to address the uh, oh, the whip in the room. The whip in the room. Yep. We went to go see a performance of Jesus Christ Superstar, starring my daughter Sam yes. as Jesus. It was fabulous, by the way. So we all went. Jay went with us. Eliza and mm -hmm. Abby. We had a great time. And somebody whose middle name should be Grace decided. Well, didn't well, decide. Well, it happened. <laughs> Took a tumble. Took a tumble. Yeah, yeah. And then no breaking a bone. Yeah. So knitting is a little slow right now. It is very slow. <laughs> I mean, like... Miserably it, slow. It is so slow. I mean, I can get continent... I can continental knit maybe 10 or 12 stitches, and this arm is so heavy yeah. that I get tired. 
so I have to put it down. But I am cross stitching. That's good. Um, I cannot crochet. I tried uh, when the split was on. I could crochet just fine, but since they have bent my fingers, taking your fingers away. Yeah, um, I can't. I can't crochet anymore. So three weeks. Fingers crossed. That's it. Hopefully. And then a removable splint and physical therapy. Otherwise, and it's bones. A, a pin, another cast, and, and longer down the road. So please say no. All right. Well, we got yeah. what you got. What you got? Well, I have. My sister does not watch this, so we'll start with this. Good. Um, this is my sister's ranunculus. I'm weaving in the ends as we speak. Love it. And Love it me. is knit with Cascade Heritage um, Sock and Plum and one, twist, one Twisted Tree Lace in Miss Fisher's Pearl Handle, Handle Pistol Held Double. So it becomes like a DK way. Mm -hmm. It's super squishy. Uh, one Twisted Tree Yarns is out of business, yes. but um, I love it. I love the way the so with your ranunculus where you had the mohair uh -huh. going through it, the whoop, I dropped your scissors. I'm so sorry. The lace wasn't as yeah, noticeable, you right? See the lace and as it's well, pretty but noticeable. Then, like this pattern through here. Yeah. I, I guess I didn't notice that yeah. as much. And look at this in the back. Yeah, look at that. It's almost identical, like like <gasps> symmetrical. Oh my you gosh. can see straight through the that's, holes. That's really cool. From the front and back. And I noticed that this morning when I pulled that's it very pretty. off the blocking board. So I there's love that. The color. Me too. I hope she of likes course. it. And then finally, yay! Tales the Garden Shawl by Marie Elise Dougal and the yarns by Tippy Tree Yarns. And I hear she has another sock coming out. So are you doing that? No. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get it. It'll take me a while because I won't be able to knit it. Oh, those but, colors are fabulous. Um, well, that's weird. Every time we buy stuff for stash, we use it right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. Anyway, I absolutely love it. My granddaughter was oh, enthralled by it. And if you it look on Instagram, she's modeling adorable. it. Too so cute for words. she might get it. That would be a good Christmas too present. Cute yeah, for she words. might we get it. We can knock out two more. Yeah. Maybe, team, maybe teamwork it to knock out two more shawls of sorts. She loved it. Girls. And um, I didn't I didn't post the other picture where all three of the older granddaughters had to be did in the picture. Did you know, or did you just send that to us? I just sent it to you oh, all. Oh, I was like, when did I see that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I finished my Ireland socks. This was a race. Yeah. I came in third. I knew I would. I didn't care. But you finished them. But I finished them. And it's uh, Desert Fisted Dye Works in the color Ireland. And I did... A uh, three by one rib on the leg, a fish lips kiss heel, and then just a stock in a foot. I love the depth of the greens in that. And I was determined I was going to finish them at the retreat we went to because Penny PJ Knits, she has a podcast, um, liked the colors so well, and I told her she could have the leftovers. Mm -hmm. So on the last night, she got my leftovers. And she got like 49 grams, yeah. so. She can definitely get a pair of socks She said she's gonna knit some shorties out of them, I think. That'd be perfect. Um, and use black as like the. Oh yeah, a heel toe Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them. They're Adorable. the perfect color. So now I have Ireland socks and Scotland socks. Now I just need to find like Croatia. At, you know, Norway. Yeah, maybe Norway, Norway in the summer Norway next Norway. year. <laughs> we'll discuss that later. Maybe yes. Germany in the winter. Yeah, yeah. So I do, have, I do, I do need, I do have Germany socks. I have the cuckoo clock yarn, and I haven't done it yet. Yes. Okay. So I need to do those. Yes. You went and saw them. Yes. So I just need to finish all of well, my. Well, uh, and you have a homespun house. You have the youth and duck, and she dies. Yeah. In yeah. What yeah. you're working with? Living my dream life. I know, right? So anyway, those are my three finished objects. Way to go! Awesome. It's Sweater, kind of a shawl, cruel so. irony that you were like extremely prolific all right? of a sudden. And now I can't hands, do like, anything. Yeah. <laughs> now it's like. Sorry. Breaks have been pulled. Okay, what do I do with my needle? But you over. said, right, that now that you're, while you're on the injured list, that you were going to put together, like, project bags with the I patterns am. in the yarn. I think mm -hmm. I find that 
so fun. I've done it a couple of times before. I love that, like getting yeah. all the yarn together. I've looked at all my whips. I do have several sweater whips mm -hmm. to work on. I have one with me because I can knit in the round slowly. Um, but look at the progress I'm gonna make on it. It's the one thing I can work on. Right. Yeah. It's not heavy, so I can just knit and knit and knit and knit for like 12 inches. Mm -hmm. And then I can pick up something else that I just have to knit on and knit, 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 knit until it's finished. Mm -hmm. Until I've done all I can do. And then everything will get into a... It needs sleeves. Or yeah, it needs, it needs sleeves or it needs ribbing or something yeah. like that. Stages. Yeah. And so I'm going to try to do as much of that as I can over the next three weeks. But I also have planned out... I've got four hats, at least four hats, maybe six that I want to do. Um, I've got a pair of socks I want to do. And um, I have a sweater to cast on for my mom. So those are going to be the things I need to like ball up the yarn and get all the stuff together and the pattern with it and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Have you had to modify your Christmas knitting list since? I have not modified it yet. Okay. Let's just say that I'm still a go. Okay. Um, That's always up for modification. With yeah, you. somewhere you down the road. You should sew the pillows pretty well. Like, yeah, the, I'm getting the pillow stuff together. My sister-in-law said she was going to, she wanted to hand stitch the tree on all of the backs for me so i'm letting her Whew. you because know what? i was going to zigzag stitch them so Heck yeah you go girl she likes to hand stitch so i'm gonna let her do it things on a craft glue sprayed it and then uh yeah. hand zigzag stitch that's it. what i intended to do was yeah. use that feasible that's iron on one. stuff yeah. and, yep. and then zigzag around it. and she goes oh no go around i secure. love to hand sew and i'm like have at it no thank you you may do it all you want so anyway, that's what I've got. Beautiful. So then that's in a stage too, because you can't do anything really until she's done with that, right? In that first step? Yeah, I have to get the fabric ironed and um, I'm going to okay. send up everything to her to the lake next weekend with my son to get that part all done. And then the next mm -hmm. time I'm up with her, I should be able to sew on the, the um, yo-yos because we're doing them with a button that were all my great grandmother's buttons oh, so they're my grandmother's yo-yo and her mom's buttons i think that'd be really cool i think that'd be awesome yeah so and i can do that part it's like cross stitching because your good hand is the free hand oh that's right that's right well that's good yep that's right is that true Last that's it all that's right that's it i finished my eyelet burst shawl Yay. Yay! So it is complete in all of its glory. Beautiful. It's so pretty. I love the colors. You got such a good block on that. I'm really admiring how nice and even your <laughs> eyelets are here. Like they're I'm not gonna lie, I kind of symmetrical this super fast so that I could take it to the mini meetup. <laughs> I thought it's I think it's a very a nice blocking. Oh, I still have a stitch marker in there. It matches though. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Like, you wore it a couple of times. Too. <laughs> Somebody else wore it. Uh, Zoya wore it. Yes, people wore it, and I did not realize that I had a stitch marker in it. Well, there you go. Flyer. Awesome. All right. Um, I did finish a pair of socks. These were my race socks. This is the Artistic Yarns by Abby. The Secret Garden Stripe. And then it comes with that little pink bit. So... Those they are were so cute. super fun, mm -hmm. and they I love the colors, and they have a little blitz. I don't know if you can see all those little blitz. I mean, I already like speckle, and I already like self striping. But if you're gonna yeah. self stripe a speckle, take all my money, right? Like just That's pretty much where I'm at with that. I one. don't need it. You need it. Take it. Like <laughs> sweet lord. Um, I finished a pair of these are Christmas gifts. They're called knuckle busting mitts, I think, but they're Nice. Um, I'm gonna scooch up here. Let's see if I can not. This one. Um, one of my coworkers, okay. she wanted fingerless mitts, and so I found these, and I used the leftovers of that. What was it? The U one, the one that doesn't die anymore. Good for you. Yes. Um, okay, in that navy that I used, and it's got a little cable that runs down the middle. And I just thought it looked really cute. And I thought they'd be super soft because there's a little bit of, what, llama in there? Mm -hmm. So this was, I thought it was a free pattern, but it was not. 
It was called Knuckle Busting Fingerless Mitts. Or it may have been one of those where it used to be free or you got it. You know, like sometimes designers do like the first week it's free and then. But it was only like yeah, four bucks. That's not bad. So it wasn't a terribly, it wasn't overly expensive. Um, I finished my monthly hats. I didn't show you July's. So here's July's <coughs> hat. <coughs> Little pink and triangles on it. This is the, these are all free. This is out of Kelburn Woolens, Germantown, and this one is in baby pink. I did not make a pom-pom for it because I forgot. But I can always make one later. I have plenty of yarn. And that one is by Courtney Kelly, but it's free on Ravelry. If you go in, just look up July hat. And then I finished the August hat. I love that. That's and I got so to do fun. a Latvian braid, which I had never done. It was way easier than I anticipated. I was like, oh, this is going to be so difficult. Nope, it was not difficult. It's so cute. Very There's my cute. hat. And I did make a pom-pom for it. It said a three-inch pom-pom, so I made one. But I just haven't put it on yet. It's cute. It's massive. Love it. Um, so yeah, finished that. I think that's all I got finished this time. Yes. That's a lot. I think so. Yeah. Uh, I have a hoe. I guess I can capture that. I have one sock done. <coughs> of socks that I'm working on. So. Oh my gosh. This is the doctor sweater, I think. Oh, it's after the 13th doctor by Ba Yarns. My soon-to-be sister-in-law wanted something in a dark color. So we went navy and I just can't do all navy. So That's Annette had this though. sitting in her stash needing a home. Yep. So I gave it a home and a project. Beautiful. So that's all I got. Okay. okay. What you got, Tasha? I have two pairs of socks. Woohoo! Yay! Oh goodness. Yay, socks! Yay! I thought I had done something else. You know what? You your never sweater. brought your sweater as a finished oh. object and you wore it. I did. I did. That's I even it. thought about grabbing it when I left the house and I was like, no, because I talked already about showed it. That. But I haven't. So I she did, did finish it. I did finish my rocket tee in the knitting for all of cotton merino and still love that yarn just as much as I did in the beginning. It looks so cute on. Can't say enough. So I'll um I'll go on Facebook and I'll pull a picture of all of us in our sweaters, but when we went to the retreat, which we'll talk about later, they did a picture at the end of everybody in their green sweaters. Mm -hmm. It could have been any pattern. Um, we went with the rocket tee. That was a lot of fun. That's the first time that I've ever been in a group shot like that. So that was It really was fun. Cool. I like having the color choice where mm -hmm. you could do any sweater. Or mm -hmm. any garment, as long as it was, as long color. as it was in yeah. that family. And yeah, it could be any shade of green you your heart desired. Could be neon, or my be back tea. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. And then Marie um, usually does not knit tops at all, so that was really cool. Yep. It pushed her out of her wheelhouse, mm -hmm. and like, oh my goodness, did she go out of her wheelhouse? She, she was gorgeous. The, the Miss Arena. She knit the Miss Arena, and she goes. The three things I don't like are cables, lace, and color work. And if you've never knit the Miserina, the three work. things that the yoke is the made of are cables, lace, and color work. But the you know what? of no yay on her part. She nailed it, and it, it was looked gorgeous. so good. It was but, cute. Oh, she cracked me so up when gorgeous. she said that. I'm like, you might have you missed the mark, buddy. <laughs> okay. This is one of the socks from the first pair. These are by Northwoods Fiber. Um, and it came with a black yarn for the heel toe and cuff, which I still hate just as much as I ever have. It looks great with the yarn, but, uh, I hate a black colored heel. And actually I did goober it up for like, I finished the decreases on one side of the toe before the other. Oh no. Or the, the heel rather. And it's fine. Like nobody knows but me. But... I do that occasionally in your hat, like you're fixing it. Yeah, like on the last row. Yeah, like, and I how did I do budget that? where I'm like yeah. one stitch off, but I blame the black yarn. It's hard to see. Yeah. But the Northwoods is very vibrant. It's really pretty. It was covered in a lot of neon speckles, so I really enjoyed the knit. And I knit them on my nine inch circular needles. 
pattern. Just my normal vanilla sock pattern. I do a 64 stitch. I do a um, 16 row cuff, a 60 row leg, a 60 row foot, and a fish lips kiss heel. Perfect. Which makes them easy to remember. Okay, this is one of the other from the pair. This is Emma's yarn, and this main color is hammered. I don't remember what this top one is. I'll look it up, but so cute. These were the 50 gram sets that I had got. Um, Y'all may remember, the OGs will remember from when we went to the yarn crawl and I had a little financial slip and slide. <laughs> and, um, Whee! yeah, woo! I got those three 50 gram balls and I thought that I could get three pairs out of three 50 gram skeins. That is not gonna work out. I'll end up getting two full size pair and I'll just use the green as heel, toes, and cuffs on both so that they're kind of a set, but the main color will be different. So that's fine. Now I know, but um, that's my other sock. And that's all I got done were vanilla socks. There's nothing wrong with vanilla socks. No, that's pretty much, I mean. And you got a sweater done. Oh, and you got a shirt done. So let's. Mm -hmm. I did. I got that shirt done. And what else was I knitting on, though? Something else was getting my attention. Socks? Your, your whip. Oh, yeah, my whip. The whip I had to start three times. Shh. I start all my whips three times. Well, like, that's I don't know. Charm, I guess. Yeah. I don't know what the phenomenon is. <laughs> Takes me three times to figure out what I'm doing. So. I think you were. You were working on um, samples. That tank top that I knit for the concert. That's it. That's what I knit on. I was like, there was something that I knit on relentlessly. You finished that, right? I did. Oh, I did. well, she has another one. Yeah, it's sitting on my craft room floor. So I knit a tank Whoops. top for the Fall Out Boy concert that I went to on July 15th. I knit it out of Liebigman Fiber Arts Soliloquy. And that is a phenomenal yarn and base. It's extra yardage. So I want to say I got like 600 yards to the skein, maybe. Maybe a little more than that beautiful speckling. I actually did not have to alternate skeins. You cannot tell where I changed them. So you can insert a picture for it, right? I will. Mm -hmm. I will insert a picture for that. Okay. I ended up not wearing it because <coughs> it was predominantly white. And the day that we would see Fallout Boy, it was pouring rain in Cincinnati. So I did the elder emo thing and just went in all black <laughs> as one does. So as yep. I would have done as well. Yes. Me too. So and you knit a bunch of swatches. I did. Yes. I did. I'm in a, a swatch factory. So. Not for sizing, for colors. For, yeah, I'm just. Well, let's um, be I know. Is shops the word? Is swatches the word? Samples? But they're not samples. I'm just knitting a. Color swatches. Color swatches. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you know, we all went to the uh, mini meetup. Uh-huh. Uh, so. We had a lot of fun. Let's just start. It start was there. fun. It was really fun. Um, we saw a lot of people that we watch on YouTube, and that was really cool. And we got to talk, chat with people, meet people. And we also got to meet up with one of our friends, Bindu. And she took us around to Elgin Networks mm -hmm. and the Wool & Co. Mm -hmm. With Grace and Zoya. Grace and Zoya. We also stopped by a Doctor Who themed coffee oh, shop. Yes. It oh my was gosh, so the best coffee. Yeah. Oh I mean, gosh. not only was it super cute in there, but Whatever. the coffee was amazing and the sandwich we split was, was amazing. It was so good. So if you're ever in the Elgin area, check it out. Like Blue Box Blue, Cafe. Blue Box Cafe. Cafe. Yep. You need to find it. It's Fabulous. adorable, it's delicious. It's right around the corner from. We didn't take any shop. pictures. Oh gosh, no! <laughs> no one took pictures. We didn't take hardly any pictures. We're bad podcasters. Actually, I don't think we took any pictures while we were up there. I think there's one picture of us at El uh, Wool and Co. Yep. Which we can post that. But yeah. I think that's it. We just enjoyed ourselves. Enjoyed the moment. Enjoyed. It really Being wasn't, here. yeah, it wasn't about us going as podcasters. I think we just no. went as knitters, and so I didn't. Absolutely. And we talked about that going up. It just content was not the focus. We went to enjoy everybody's company. We got to meet um, Cheryl, who is 
a riot. Like, oh, yeah. She's from Chicago. She's oh, from yeah. Chicago. Huge character. I could listen to her talk all day. Um, oh, yeah. Totally. Kendra and her son, Daniel. And okay. then I got to learn about Paint by Sticker, which... Oh, yeah. Those are cool. Ah! Those are awesome. I've been on the lookout. Oh, uh, Amazon. Amazon? Yep, okay. I ended up getting them. They didn't have them at our Barnes & Noble, I so I got them at Amazon. Totally. Yeah. I think they're great. Yep. Very cool. But yeah, I already got three of them Saturday as part, when it part of she her. excited? Did you? Yes, she said, they're very hard nut up. And I'm like, okay, the numbers are, are definitely going to be hard. And she said she couldn't quite get the shape in the yeah. spot yet, but she's four, so, yeah. She'll you get know, there. we're going to get them, get her there. Yeah. She'll get there. Yeah. So we had a lot of fun. And like I said, we went to a couple different places. We met people. So, excuse me, as I burp, um, we should probably start with our acquisitions our because we were kind of piggy. You know, I don't feel like we were, though. Like, it... I have a lot, but it's sweater quantities. Right. So that I, I don't even feel like that that's a lot. Yeah. So we went to Elgin Networks and we went to Wool & Co. And those were awesome. And yes. Wool & Co. is like Mecca. And yeah. shipping is free. But it was amazing. I did have enough wits about me. I got a video, a short little clip I'll put at the end, where I just pan the store. Um, but Wool & Co. is trouble because when you go in, they've got shopping carts. And we have a picture of you with the shopping yes. cart. so we and, have a few pictures. And that bore fruit. Like, <laughs> I shouldn't be shopping in the arm stores. <laughs> and I needed the shopping cart. Um, we shared a shopping cart and some of my stuff spilled over into her part of the uh, shopping cart. So, yeah. so, so we have pictures of that. So that yeah. was a hoot. And then the next day we went to the fold, which is in Marengo, Illinois, but yep. pretty close. It was in like 30 minutes. Yeah, and it wasn't that it was far. Easy. Everything there was 50% off. So first of all, yes, our hauls are kind of piggy, but they were on sale. And second of all, the sweet folks that run that shop are trying to sell everything in that store so that they can retire and move up north to New Hampshire to be near uh, their son. So right. yeah. I thought we were just being helpful. We were just doing our part. Um, we were very I helpful. <laughs> really wanted to help take that seven hundred dollar spinning wheel off their hands, but we were very helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were very helpful. So. Yeah. Wasn't even shopping. Really. I mean, it was start... almost like charity when you think of it, right? I, I have two fabulous. things to start with that are not not the trip. Okay. okay. I decided to get. I think I have one thing too. A box from the Speckle Finch Studio. Oh, how Ooh. cute is the box? Um, and so this is my first month. I love a box. And you got a little postcard with it, ice. With a cute ice cream bow on it. And let's see. I got, it's all in here. A sticker. This is just chilling <laughs> with the same ice it. cream. Um, an ice cream progress keeper. Aww. Oh, I love it. It came with a, like a pe long peppermint stick, but it was ice cream flavored and it was Neapolitan colors. And when you broke it in, in two, there was like vanilla cream inside. So the girls, all three of my big granddaughters, they all split it and they loved it. So good. And then I got a Katrinkles two inch ruler. That's cool. That's what awesome. size of my swatches. Yeah, so that was very cool. But the yarn wrapped up in really pretty tissue paper. And it is called Neapolitan and it's in the DK way. And it's really squishy. So I can't see, I can't wait to see what September's is. Oh, make a great little hat. Oh, I know. It's a cute, it's going to be a hat. Yeah. Ooh, I love it. Yeah. Love it. So anyway, so that was the wasn't from the shop. And then my sister-in-law got me this book for my birthday called Deep Color: The Shades That Shape Our Soul. And it's all about how color can affect your mood and about color in older times what the colors meant. 
So it's one of those good reads for um, picking colors, mm -hmm. you know, to choose. And I thought you might really like to look That's at it because awesome. of the pictures yes. for like some color eyed, some color eyed. Definitely. So That's anyway, awesome. I was very excited about that. Okay, so we should start with our trip, right? Yeah. Did you do anything at Elgin Networks? I did. Okay, I did two. Did you do two at Elgin Networks? No. Okay. I only got, uh, I got three things at Elgin Networks, but I only brought two of them. Okay. <coughs> I got a coffee mug from Elgin Networks, which I did not bring. And then both of these are ridiculous yarns. They're DK weight and they're jocks are DK. This one is a shot of unicorn. Oh, oh hang on. Turn it this way. Look at that little bump. And this one is called Witch's Brew. Yeah. And that these will be pretty. hats for two of my granddaughters. So that's what, I, that's what I got there. I got a kit for the Fighting Words Fingerless Mitts. I don't know if you all have seen them on Ravelry or not, but it's in a gray and red. My brother wanted fingerless mitts again. I've already knit him fingerless mitts once. Thank you very much. But he lost them. Or one. I don't remember what he did, but... So it came with the pattern, which it is It did awesome. come with the pattern, and they were able to send me the pattern. It's Digitally? like automatically in my library. Oh, nice. So they're like, nice. do you want a digital copy? And I'm like, actually, yes, I do. Nice. So is there anything important on this? I don't know. No. no. So it, it says like little words on it. Pal and Bam? Yeah, right? I think so. Comic Bam book, and action yeah. words. Comic, comic book style, yeah. yeah. So his will be this gray and red combo when I get to doing them. I need to start them. But I got other things to finish, so. No wait. No wait. I like them. Like That's them. why I got LG Networks. Me too. All right, with the, okay, so we're on to. So then we took a coffee break and then we went to Wool and Co. Yeah, Tasha, you wanna start? <sighs> you wanna start us off I'll at Wool and Co? I'll start us off at Wool and Co. Okay. So. I'm gonna dig through mine and get mine in the right place up here. I know, me too. Um, the first thing that I got when I went to Wool & Co. was right in the main doorway. When you come in, they have uh, several tables, low tables, um, with pattern books and um, the yarns that go with them, which I thought was really great. So, the book that I got is by uh, Annika Contanimi, probably pronouncing that wrong. It's called Arctic Knitting. And it has beautiful patterns like this, along with the stories that go behind so it. Pretty. And it's just one of those books where the book is so well made, the photography is beautiful, but it's a good coffee table book no matter what. But the patterns, the are patterns in there are amazing. Gorgeous. Yeah. I actually, when I got this, had picked it up because I was like, oh, Netta would love this. And then I flipped through it and I was like, this no, is not for Netta, I this is it. for me. This is mine. <laughs> oh no, I love this. I'll share. <laughs> she goes, look at this book. I said, put it in my cart. She goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> it is mine. Okay. <laughs> so then I also got a circular needle. I think pretty much every time I go to a yarn shop, I get another sock needle of some description. Sometimes you just got to get them. You never have enough. I don't think it's a bad thing to have too many. Which mm -hmm. one? Okay. So this is, that's the one that I got from when we went Sheep to Kentucky and Sheep and Fiber. Yeah. So when we went to Kentucky Sheep and Fiber, just as a replay, this is the skein of Lobby and MA that I got in their singles base. And then when I went to Wool & Co, I got oh. two more. So it's going to be a what the fade, and I'm just slowly building the fade. I have two more skeins to collect over time. I'm looking for a hot pink and the LBA Yellow Brick Road, and that will make the shawl. But I'm taking my time building it because it is very pricey yarn, and the best way for me to afford to work with nice yarn is to slowly gather the kit over time it would be incredibly painful to run out and just throw up 250 dollars yeah. on a shawl so i got that and then 
for my husband's hat this year, I got a skein of Kilbore Woolens and Scout and a really pretty cranberry red color. Their Woolens are kind of, they're not really heathered, but kind of heathered. It's not a flat red. There's depth and dimension to the color, which what is really is nice. Is Scout? It's 274 yards to 100 grams, so it's like a light worsted. Almost UK-ish, but more so worsted. So Germantown is the worsted. Mm -hmm. And that's what I use on my hat. Oh, this is my turn. Is that, is it my turn? That, I think, is all I got from Woolen Co. We didn't have to do the sock yarn, did we? Well, no. No, we didn't. I almost got it, and then I got the lobby anime, so I didn't get any sock yarn. That's fair. Okay. So we talked about... Um, the West Yorkshire spinners and their Christmas colorways. Mm -hmm. So I had seen <laughs> this fairy lights color, which, hang on, let me scooch up here. Sparkly. Which is not only sparkly, but it's like blues and greens and pinks and mm -hmm. red and like, kind of like vintage Christmas. Vintage Christmas. Uh, yeah, that's we both got it. it. Yeah. And I've been looking for it in person to see what I thought about it. Mm -hmm. And I'll be damned if they didn't have it. They did. On top of every other color, but I was like, nope, this is the one color that I was looking for. It's the only one I'm going to get. And they had the um, coordinating main skeins right next to them for yes. people that want to do Hills Toast yes. Cuffs. So, like, Which, they're not messing around. They're they there for your wallets. They, they, and I'm glad to give them my money. Please oh, put things that match together, and I'm 100% I'm yeah. there. This is torture chain me to the wall. <laughs> right, please. But it would have been nicer if it was 20 grams instead of a full 100 gram ball. True, uh, but I'd make it work. They were all good colors, yeah, so you would always put them other places. Anyway. But I was like, no, I'm going to strike this and I'm going to use it all on one pair of socks because it's Christmas and I love Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I was very excited to get it. So I got that. And then um, as we were getting ready to check out, I found oh, these. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to stick mine up with yeah. yours. <laughs> I found these at the checkout. And... They are gradients, so these make long, long gradients, gradients, like taller than a regular sock. So, so you need to knit them toe up, probably. I will not, but uh -huh. yeah. I will knit them toe up. I yeah. will not. I will knit Damn. them, and then whatever. Or I will crank left, them. Do it. Are you scared you're gonna like it? No. Um, whatever's <laughs> left, then I'll give to you. But if no. you if you want to be, I'm not going to give it to you. No. You could almost, like, you know, the shift cows and stuff that they mm -hmm. do when they're long gradients like that. It'd be kind of cool to take them from opposite ends and, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That would be cool. But not only did I get two, but I made Bindu get two. Mm -hmm. And Anetta was being Miss Enabler. You have to buy something. You have to buy something to Grace and Zoya. Because they were making everybody else buy something. And well, they like, never got mm -hmm. from me because I was already buying stuff, but... We made her buy one, yeah, too. Yeah, so I have one, too. And there's uh, no name. They're just color numbers. Yeah. Um, on the website, I think there might be a name. That makes me even angrier. Like, It's 435 yards, which is a really nice amount, and they, they're going to gradiate. And because yep. you have, I think what I, I would like to do is knit them opposite. I always mm -hmm. miss so them that they opposite. don't they don't match up. So but. like start with the purple on one and the uh -huh. yeah yeah. yeah. But, but I'm very excited. I think they're cute. Shirley Bryan. That's and what was it like eighteen dollars? I yeah, mean it was really reasonable. Um, very cheap. Very very reasonable. Yeah. I did see that Simply Sock Yarn has this yarn too. Oh nice. So if you're interested, I know Simply we got these at Wool and Co. This one is color number fifteen oh three. And this one is 1505. Which be 15, nice 18. Uh, 15, 18. They're purples in it. Yeah. All of them are adorable. Like, super adorable when you knit them up. Yeah. And then, last but not least, I decided that I needed to knit a vest. Why? Don't know. Um. So, Isabel Kramer. Yes. She had her patterns on sale a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. or the one we were traveling to. It was the retreat weekend. Yeah, and she has a vest pattern on there. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. It begins with an E, but I can't remember. It's a second. And I didn't come prepared as a podcaster. 
So it's got like a lacy panel in the front that looks cabled, but it's not, I don't think. So I got this pretty blue lace color. And this is a Scrumptious 4-ply by Fiber Spates. 45% silk, 55% merino. And I think it's going to be fabulous for that. So eventually I'll cast that on. We'll find out when. Don't know. It is going to be fabulous. It will be Sorry. when I cast it on. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. I got it. Like, I do not know. Okay. I'm trying to think, like, did she do anything? Did so, I do anything else? I had been wanting these two books forever, and I did not want to the digital copies, and I did not want to pay shipping from Europe. Shipping was more than the product. Yes. For those. Yes. Yeah. So they had Sark by Kate Davies, and it's all patterned, which. Love it's going to be amazing. It's mm. all just patterns. That shawl on the back is gorgeous. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Like a leaf. Yeah. And then this one is called 10 Years in the Making, and it's mostly color work, but there is the occasional cable thing in it. So, I love them. I've been wanting them. Very nice. Yeah, so that was the star. Okay, you've seen my two sock yarns. Um, I bought a sweater quantity of fiber so spades pretty. in this scrumptious four ply, and the color is Rumex. Are you like M E X? Mm -hmm. It's very coppery, merino and silk. And I have four skeins, so and I don't know what it's going to be yet. Something beautiful. Thought you just thought you had an idea. I talked about what is it? icy spring. It's icy spring. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it then might. Come up with then we came up with another one, so I don't know yet. But anyway, I'll come up with something for what that. What did we come up with? I can't remember. Like we pondered it. Yeah, I can't remember. But the reason I wanted to go there so badly, there is a sweater called. Come on, is it in your whips? The Sela. Oh, no. It's not in my whips yet, because I broke my hand. Um, <laughs> Dang. It. So how long are you going to use that excuse no. for the next three weeks? <laughs> So anyway, Sela is a pattern for Jana, H-I-E-T-A-L-A, and it is a bulky weight sweater, and this particular yarn is recommended, and Penny PJ Net says, well, they have that. I know, she totally enabled Well, and Co., and I said, well, I'm definitely going. <laughs> And um, the pattern actually calls for this yarn because it's a bulky weight only because of the fuzz factor. Mm -hmm. It is 100% alpaca. It's Sandus Garn Borstet Alpaca. And when you walked in, when I walked in, I said, I need this yarn. And she goes, we don't have that out, but it's in our warehouse, which is right behind them. And so you pick out your colors on the computer, and she went back and brought out two different colorways with sweater quantity, so I could just pick one out of a basket. And so I chose this color, which is kind of a grayish plum, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, it's beautiful. I am through the neckline, um, through the short rows, and into the raglan, and then I broke my hand. Because it needs to a bulky gauge, yeah, right? Yeah, it's not a bulky yeah. gauge. I'm on a size 10 needles. Honestly, so lightweight. Yeah, I, it, to pick up that yarn and look at it on the shelf, I never in a million years would have just assumed that it was I bulky. There is, I mean, it weighs nothing. I, so, I mean, well, even the sweater bit that you've knit. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be a very toasty yeah. garment without feeling like you're wearing a weighted blanket. Right. It's 96 grams of brushed alpaca and then 4% nylon, which is basically holding the alpaca together. Mm -hmm. That's it. So yep. this was my main thought when I yeah. walked in there. Yeah. And I wish I thought too smart. That was the mission. <laughs> I know. It's so pretty. So I might have to pick out another one and have a manly one because it is. And I well, did the not. shipping's free. So. Right. right. And I'm going to say that of everything that I bought, I've never knit with any of it. All the stuff that I bought are things that were new to me knitting wise. Even oh. the West Yorkshire spinners, because I have some in my stash, but I've not That's knit with cool. it yet. That's cool. 
that's the only one that I got that I've knit with. Yeah, so it's all really everything was knit, new. One, knit, 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 knitted. Knitted. The one, the one pair of socks. <laughs> But so, I found yeah. I have a holly berry up there, so I have another Christmas one of that. Oh, good. I did not know that. Good. So You're just multiplying your stash when you're not looking. Like, I mean, pop if, new skeins out. Uh, look, if self sharpening yarn wants, wants to, to repopulate, I know. I ain't gonna be mad about it. I'll feed them stitch markers or whatever it is they yeah, need. Feed just... them after midnight, whatever the good ones need. Yeah, but I'm very excited oh. that everything is new to me. I thought that yeah, was a really I didn't good. Think about that, but... It was a really good thing to mm -hmm. only get yarns that I've never knitted with. We did good. We did do good. Yeah. So now should we talk about the fold? Yeah. So we were told the first night we were there, I think, mm -hmm. that there was a place that was, they said, a little ways out. But it honestly, for us driving 30, 40 minutes. Oh, it's nothing. I've had longer work commutes. Yeah. Right. That's nothing. Yeah. We were like, okay. Well, Saturday. So we get okay. up. Okay. You know. So 50% we thought, off, you say? Right. So, you know, Saturday morning after we'd gone out and mm -hmm. tootled tootled around on Friday, we were like, what do we, what do we want to do? Do we just want to go ahead and, and go? Let's just go take a look. Let's just see what's there. It's Worst probably cleaned it, out. No yeah. big deal. It's just 30 minutes. Let's just go have a little peek. It was not, in fact, cleaned out. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, so much yarn. Mm -mm. I don't know. They said that they will be there until they get their yarn, everything sold. Yep. I don't know how long that's going to take. They had so much yarn. She and we're talking six like months. fabulous yarn. Mm -hmm. Like it was excellent. Mm -hmm. Um it was it was phenomenal actually, yeah. Uh I only I should have bought more. I did. Let too. me put it that I way. I regret my restraint. I regret my restraint as well. Like that Rowan cashmere haze. Why did I leave that behind? And why did we not buy every ball of a G and Tweed they had? What were we doing? I am not sure why I did not do that. That was probably they the already had a tub. Ever. We should have just grabbed both handles of the tub and, and like we'll split it 50 -50. Split it down the middle. That yeah. was a mistake. We were not thinking. No. Well, we'd already shopped twice. Right. We were feeling we a got little there. like you know. Yeah. Oh, shouldn't have yeah. Anyway, but we still got a lot. We still did pretty good. So, Tasha, you want to start us off? Or do you want to go so, last so we can go into your whip? Let's go last. Let her go last. Yeah, let me go, go last. Okay. Like, yeah. Start us I, off I think I'm okay. mostly got my whip and a All book. Right. So, at... At the fold, I actually bought eight skeins... Of Kramer Perfection, which is a merino wool and acrylic, and I bought it in a ton of colors, eight different colors, because there are lots of little kids in my family. Mm -hmm. So hats, baby sweaters. That's perfect for that. Um, it was like three dollars a ball. That's right. Yeah, that was in the garage. So when we no, pushed, this no, was not was in the garage. garage. It was inside. No, I thought you yeah. got eight balls. Didn't you get a sweater in the garage? Nope. Oh yeah, I did. Yep. But that's this. Oh okay. okay. Yeah. I'm gonna put mine up. Put yours up here too. Okay, this is Sand Scarn. Baby Yule. Lynette. Baby Lynette. Baby Yule. Baby Yule. Yeah. And I wrote down what it actually is. I wrote. I made myself a no. Nope, I didn't. I just told you I'm. I'm I bought twelve. We games, bought all of them. Which is 1,849 yards. That's it. Yep. And they were selling it for three bucks a ball. So that means you got a sweater for, for 30, 30, 36, 36 bucks. Mine is a dark. Probably less than, because it probably won't take all that yard. Yeah. No. Mine's a gray, like, and yours is, is like a black, heathery. Look. Yeah. So mine is like a charcoal-y gray, black. And hers is like a gray, blue gray. It is a super wash. I did notice that when I looked it up that's online. Right. I didn't look any of it up, but um, but that's oh, totally awesome. fine. Um, so anyway, I mean, going to make Jason a sweater out of this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Are you mine. serious? Yep. I didn't know that you were going to make him a sweater out of fingering weight black yarn. She loves him more than you and I love our husbands. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> if I knit my husband a black sweater, it better be a burial shroud. Because... <laughs> Well, he has Marion and Marion. He will be getting like Marion and Marion socks. Right. Does he know that that this sweater and him are bonded for life? He knows. Yeah, he knows those socks are. The socks I knit him for our wedding are black. 
He yeah. only wears them to you, weddings and funerals. You are a loving, devoted wife. You really are. I also knit quickly. Because Jason's rather tall, friends. He's just got long arms and long torso, but... I mean, really, the oh, chest, is that all? The chest measurement isn't going to be that much different than what if I did it for myself, like 44. Yeah, and then like 18 inches long here and 19 and a half here in fingering weight. And she's quick. I know, but she just needs to wait till spring to knit or next spring to knit it because well, winter I'm not is going to do suck. It in the winter. Yeah, it's going to suck. I'll go blind first. Yeah. You are yeah. a loving, loving wife. Yeah. I admire it. So that last yarn I got at mm. the fold so far. was like. Rowan Felted Tweed. <laughs> About five of them. Also no name. I love Felted Tweed. It's so pretty. But it's like a blue, light blue heather. But it looks so cozy. It yeah. looks like those 90s mom jeans, that color of wash. That yeah. Kind of wash. And I have yeah. enough to make like a pullover of some sort, so... For anyway, sure. that's it. Oh, and then I bought three books for my granddaughters, which tell a story. And in the back are, are like several knitting patterns per book. Cool. Um, that have to do with a story. Like there's a sweater pattern and there's like little doll pattern and things like that. But the girls have cared less about the patterns in the back. They really like the books. Really? So, yes. That's yes. so really good. So I'm tickled. And then I have one other thing that I purchased, which I cannot show on here and I cannot talk about because it is a birthday present. Oh, yeah. So, and they watch. Oh. Secret, secret. So that's what about the foam. All right. So, along with the sweater quantity, and like I told Tasha, so far it's for Jason. So I'm supposed to find some for myself. So. I'll knit myself anything. I can always find him somewhere so way <laughs> Girl, I'd be knitting him. I have some shelter. <laughs> I think I have enough in some shelter. I have sheltered in it. I'd sweater. be getting Plymouth Encore Chunky for <laughs> Jason's <laughs> sweater. I want him to like it and wear it, so I need it to be something that looks nice. I get it. I understand. Not chunky. I've knit my His husband. excuse will be like, I'm already chunky. I don't need any more chunky. We decided we're steak french fries. We're steak fries, not yes. small fries. So, I'm a tater fries. wedge. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm coming up on tater wedge. But anyway, so I got, while we were at the fold, this is also West Yorkshire Spinners. How did I miss that one? I don't know. It was gorgeous. Um, so I got two skeins of this. It's an Aran weight. I thought it would make excellent hats. And it's something you would like. It's a but it's soft though. It's not as rustic as a lot of things I like. Yes, but it's more your yeah. Your that's liking than really mine. nice though. And when I went up to the oh yeah um, checkout checkout, they had okay yes like the little fur pom poms and they had the buttons on the bottom. The cam snaps. Yes, the little snappy doos. And I thought that matched really cute. It does. That's adorable. Um, I don't know what I'll do with it, either of these, but I have them. Um, but I did get two skeins of this just in case. In I, the same color? Yes, in okay. the same color. So just in case I wanted to do mm -hmm. something larger. Something instead. Yeah. Because I can always use the pom-pom for lots of things. Yeah. And then this was free. It says free. It's just some vintage sock. Morocco. Sweet. In navy blue. And I was like, well, splitty. what? It's a little splitty. I mean, for heels and toes. Yep. <laughs> I have right. other colors of that if you want to like Mint. some kind of striping thing. I mean, I ain't mad about it. <clears throat> I do like silk striping, but yeah. that's about it. I, <clears throat> I think that's all I got. I did get something that wasn't from the fold. My box came in. Um, should I go ahead and do that now? Yeah, do it now. Okay. And we have our the stuff we get off the table to talk about too. Oh, yes. I don't know if I brought all that. Okay. Um, so I got my artistic yarns by Abby box while I was gone. And so this is watercolor stripe. And I'm just gonna get it out of the way. She sent little teeny tiny watercolors. That's so cute. Watercolor paper. And the cards put at the bottom. And then like 
information on where to find um, the like how to do like little watercolor bits. So it's a tiny, tiny little watercolor that set. That is adorable. Mm -hmm. And this is in all of its bright and gloriousness. With this pretty gray. What's the stitch marker? The stitch marker is a little poodle looking dog. Paint with paints. With paints. <laughs> It is so cute. So I think like her original logo is on the side of the box and it's a lot of the colors pulled out of the original yo logo. Oh, that's cool. Do you think so she, there's she that. may have done the watercolors at herself to make her labels? I wonder. Here, I'll scooch up so you can see. That's beautiful. Because he's so cute. And the colors are just really adorable. Like, I really like that. And then you can never go wrong with gray for heels, toes, and cuffs. So that's another excellent, excellent I love box them. from I love gray with neon. From Abby. I do too. She's just something else. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Yeah. Every time I see the email it says, oh, you made the payment too. And I'm like, woohoo! Yes. Another one coming. So that'll probably be here. Week after next. Sweet. So nice. Stuff back in here. Okay, I'm done. I think. Okay. Tasha's so, turn. I got from the fold. <clears throat> Where is it? Oh no! Did you not bring it? No, it's at the house because I let. I'm letting Chris pick his hat out, so I had the pattern book out so he could flip through it. So. Oh fuck. When we went through the checkout, and I'll put a picture up, um, I got the Wooly Wormhead pattern book for hats, mm. and I have loved those patterns forever. Um, they're knit in an unusual way. A lot of them are knit like sideways, and um, they're just really cool. So um, there's a flame hat. It's all in garter, oh, and I know it's knit one. sideways that I've wanted to... Uh, knit forever so funny story so I get this hat out or I get this book out and it's a million just beautiful patterns and I show it to my husband and I say pick your hat out for next year and y'all he picked out the plainest hat in the whole book <laughs> like it is a ribbed hat I'm like all right that's fine <laughs> If I'll knit the flames. Uh, I was gonna say Dave would pick the color work, any kind of color work. Yeah, that's Dave's hat. But I mean, it's a, it is a cute hat. Oh no, it's not. It's in here. Ah oh, thank goodness. Look at you being smart. Sweet. Okay. This is the pattern book, and this is the flame hat that I was talking about. Oh my gosh. That's so uh, So it's called Azula. That book is full of good hats. Mm -hmm. Look at that color work on the bottom. Yeah. So, love it. Super excited about right. it. What did Chris pick up? Chris picked out. Oh. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. Well, that's that's kind of boring. Hat. It's nice, but it's going to be boring. Yep. Pick a fun yarn. So yep. a hat. So, what weight is it? You know what? I don't even know. At that point, does it matter? <laughs> well, because if it's worse, then it's going to go super fast. <laughs> Let me see here. Super de duper fast. Oh, this was the other one. He liked. She's literally a rib. Hat. Okay, but now it has a little bit of interest on the top. It, the decrease spirals yes. a little bit at the top yes. because it's a five or four point decrease. But yeah, I mean, I was just cracking up when he picked it out. Um, it is knit in DK weight. It'll go fast. On a three. So, so yeah. That's gonna be I mean, it'll fly. It'll and be, it's cute. It'll be fine. And, you know, I just thought it was it'll funny nice that out of all the, all the super cute, colorful patterns, he was like, I I'm like this. Do this boring one. I like this. What's this flavor you call it? Vanilla? Is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> Vanilla? Vanilla? All right. And then when we were at the fold, I got a sweater quantity of 
Cascade Yarns, Aegean Tweed. Which is amazing yarn. And I'm a mess. I'll show you my whip in a second, but the tweed I got is this kind of gray toned tweed with all these little flecks of color. Nougat. What do they call it? Nougat. Nougat. It's pretty. And mm -hmm. Lindsay and I both, I think, have the same color. Is this the same color you're knitting your swancho with? So Lindsay's knitting hers into a swancho, and I am knitting mine into a Winter's Beach Cardi by Drea Renee Knits. And then this is the pink that I got. I got one skein of that because when we went, they were one ball short of this that I needed. So I decided to do the ribbing and the pockets in the pink, and it's super cute together, and I am loving it. Um, I'm glad the colors are working out well together. Show, show you what oh I got so Oh my gosh, far. look at that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh my God. Behave. Do what I say. Yep, there you go. That oh, is so pretty. This is the beginning of my sweater. So I love the pink and the gray together. Very it cute. really, I mean, it's pulling out the pops Doesn't of color. It makes it the is. colors. Yeah, the well, that's really cute. Up the gray. So yeah. I am loving it. Definitely. I enjoy knitting on it. It's a very pleasant pattern to knit. The cabling is not complicated. The charts are clear. I always really like her patterns. I find them very straightforward. Um, I do think she knits her arms skinny, but I chose a larger size. Uh, cardigan to allow for that because I do not have skinny arms and um, I think it'll all work out. It's a cardigan. I don't mind. It'll be roomy. The Aegean Tweed I love and we got it from the fold and I wish we would have gotten it all. Uh, we should have. And the yarn that it reminds me of the most is Brooklyn Tweed's Shelter yeah. and the only difference is the Aegean Tweed is a smidge sturdier and that to me is a positive like Shelter, you could break trying to wind it if you're not careful. The tweed won't do that, but it does you can easily pull it apart if you need to. So I have three sweater quantities of that that I got up at Ravel. Yeah. Didn't you buy yours at Ravel when you bought yours? Yes, yeah. you did. Yeah. It is great yarn. It is. I think full price retail is usually about twelve ninety nine for a ball. We yeah. got it at the fold, so it was 6 so that was even cheaper. So I'll be knitting that sweater for... $36, which is insane. Yeah. I mean, I paid full price for mine at Rebel. When and I got still it, and I was a great still buy. Like, yeah, it was still a good buy. When that's I bought mine, one. I thought that's a really cheap hey, sweater. Yeah. You know, yeah. very inexpensive sweater. And I very much, very much love the yarn. So, mm -hmm. yeah, if you ever yeah. see a pattern out there for shelter or Corey Worsted or anything like that, I would definitely recommend a G and Tweed well, as a good, a, reasonable substitute. It's like a DK weight. It's Probably. A DK. But Corey Worsted's pretty it's not heavy. skinny. Yeah, yeah it's not heavy. Yeah. It's a, I mean, the nice thing about the Corey Worsted is you can knit it as a Worsted or a DK. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, but anyway, yeah. yeah, super, super happy with that buy. And we were. In a great mood after we left the fold, we were like jacked up on wool fumes. Not a lot. I mean, we did, but we bought purposefully. We yeah. did. And when we got there, somebody had said that it was 50% off, but I had not been able to find anything about that online before we got mm -hmm. there. And so I thought they were overstating it. I thought, okay, well, there's probably like a sales section or whatever, but all, no, of, it. Yeah. all of it. Literally everything. Spinning wheels, weaving looms. Mm -hmm. To all the tools, everything was fifty percent. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, and there was more to be had everywhere. I think we were very responsible considering yeah. all of those things, but I do intensely regret. Yeah, I regret, <laughs> not I regret buying not that buying tweed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that all? Is that what you got there? That was what I got was there. there. Was okay. The, mm -hmm. So then we had. Um, put and take table mm -hmm. and before Lindsay's got to the put and take table I took it yes um which is very fun yarns that dyed with dandelions and indigo and there are two of the tough sock and I have two of the mohair silk lace and I've always had real trouble with mohair, but we took it out and unwound it and I wore it around my neck for like what 20 minutes or mm -hmm. so it didn't bother me at all 
but the strands are super long so mm -hmm. i think that's helpful it didn't seem to like fluff up it's around me yeah it's a natural dyeing made a difference with them i don't know too. it could yeah and the color is called rainforest but it's beautiful so, so i took that the only thing i really got off the table was the mondine sock yarn mm -hmm. um i've always wanted to try it also something i've never owned mm -hmm. so i got a skein of this in purple this is a beautiful oh, color. It's like eggplant. Yeah. It does. It's yeah. very pretty. I really like it. It also just has a color number. 118. Hey. Oh, wait. No, that's a person's thing. Okay. And then our friend Penny sat down and started opening her bag mm -hmm. and saying, this is for you and this is for you. It was like knitting Santa. So I have a sweater quantity of Kismet Fiberworks Refuge Fingering Weight in the color Michigan Cherry. And I hope it's glowing for y'all like it does in person. The it shine is. is yes. 50% camel, 50% silk. It's so Gosh. pretty. It glows. And this is what I think will be... Your Germany sweater? No, the, oh. um, the one from <laughs> Hohe, the... Icy spring. Icy spring. Okay. I think that's what this will be. Okay, that's what we change it to. Yeah, because okay, what was the other one? I don't remember, but we'll come up with it. Because you know, hmm. I'm going to be hunting and bagging it all up together. So that's true. Ooh, I have like, a good idea. I know. Like we had it all. Like we're like, okay, that's the plan. I probably bought the pattern while we were there, so I'll have to go look at your Ravelry recent yeah. purchases. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I can't remember, but we'll come up with it. But I mean, I bought, I bought a lot of yarn. I was gifted some yarn. Um, everything was on sale. It was the Chicago area yarn cross, so everything was twenty percent off everywhere mm -hmm. we went. Oh, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. um, so even though it looks like we spent a blooming fortune I didn't think we too bad. really didn't spend as much money as I was we proud could have I time. spent less than two hundred dollars on all the shopping I did for the entire I spent four I think yeah. I was right at you got three four I have four quarters? sweater quarters yeah, so and that's... I spent four hundred dollars and then I have socks and hats and I got a copy mug yeah and books I think that's pretty excellent so I didn't and my husband had told me that to go spend what I wanted because my birthday was coming up he did and it did so. Also, I find like usually the stuff that I'm going to knit in the fall and winter, this is the time of year I tend to buy it. Like between now and wool gathering, wool gathering to me in Yellow Springs in September is like the perfectly timed yeah. yarn yeah. festival because you're just trying to will cold air into being. Oh, I know. Yeah. And so like, it's like if I buy this wool, it'll get cold fast. So we'll be there. So mm -hmm. you yeah. were just, you know, like always, you were ahead of us on getting it done with your list. And I had a list when I went mm -hmm. and it was really the yarn for the hats mm -hmm. and the alpaca, the uh, bulky alpaca. That was my list. Um, and I got those, but then, I mean, everything I got was on sale. I can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or free. Yeah. And I mean, when Penny handed me that yarn, that red yarn, it was like, oh, yes. I'm going to find a sweater. I'm going to knit it. It's going to be a nice transitional piece you know from mm -hmm. spring to fall and winter it definitely won't be a summer sweater i just think that color is a color you need to like just cheer you up in the winter mm -hmm. yeah it's so, beautiful i'm very excited i didn't get well i got the west yorkshire west yorkshire that i've been looking for that fairy lights but i wanted to get yarn to make that uh christmassy cow mm -hmm. i didn't get but that's okay. I never really saw those I colors. I didn't see the colors that I wanted. I did yeah. look, um, but that's fine. I have plenty of time. I'm not too awful worried about it. We need I to go back to the place in Covington. 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 Yeah. That's where we need to go. I know. Drugs. I know. I know. I'm going to start selling them. What are you talking about? <laughs> the old drugstore. The old drugstore. With the, with the drug fumes. Yeah, with <laughs> the yarn fumes. The, the I think you're right the, the first there. Time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, Did you get anything from the table? Do you want me an apron pattern? 
and the hat and a hat blocker, blocker. thing. Mm -hmm. You gave me some tweed yarn, but I don't think I brought it down here. I got two skeins of Madeline Tosh uh, in the Tosh Merino light. Excuse me. Good luck to you. And like a kind of a, I'd say a rose wash over like a yes. gold base. Kind of a rosy gold. Mm-hmm. So very pretty I scored that and oh, i got a pattern book that was mother daughter knits by sally melville and i meant to tell y'all so i was reading it cover to cover as one does and she has a whole section where she discusses crop tops because we have lamented before that we don't like how they look but there's a section in her book that talks about um, the shaping that you can do to keep a crop top proportional to your body so that it looks good on everybody. And yeah, we all need to read that section. I know, because I want to know how to make shorter sweaters so they're done faster. But yeah. yeah, it was just a really, it was a cool, very interesting, very educational section to the book. Talks a lot about like bust adjustments and sweater oh, nice. garments. And I think that was like a that. penny book. It was. I think yeah. it was a penny book. Um, so. Yeah, I grabbed that Very from the cool. table. I think that's it. Yeah. But it was an amazing it weekend was a there. Weekend. And it's a, a frivolous and frugal and the three ply podcast put the retreat on. Highly recommend it because there are there's no classes, there's no structure as far as you have to be here at a certain time. Mm -hmm. It is you want to go shop go shop it's knitters Come knitting. Back, everyone will ask what you got mm -hmm. so uh, yeah I everybody mean, tries very... on your knitting yeah. you yeah. know it's just it's really good we met james from dude, dude knits. knits yes he's so funny like yeah. very personal totally, yeah. and penny was there from pj yeah. knits mm -hmm. and then all the girls from the three five podcast yep. Yep. joyce very is sweet. too joyce is too cute for words and agreed if y'all haven't seen her, they were all wearing Look at My Holes, and it looked great on everybody, but Joyce's was the one that had all three of us going, I should make Maybe that card. Maybe we should knit one. <laughs> and I don't know if we should. It's just that Joyce is so damn cute that, like, yeah, everything was, she yeah, wears. It was so cute on her. <laughs> yeah. It really was. She looked adorable. She, she did. She just seems like one of those women that always has her shit together. Yeah. Um, it was good. It yeah, was a lot of fun. A good point. I had some good food. Person. We had yes. some oh, yeah. great conversation. We got to try Chicago deep dish for the first oh, time. It was so good. Highly recommend. We went to this Mexican restaurant. Oh, yeah. And I got this burrito oh, that yeah. was bigger than my head. Oh, we <laughs> literally bigger than her head. It was so good, but it was literally bigger guac. than my head. Huh? To table side guac. Yes, they make guacamole Ooh. right at your table. It was, so it was good. phenomenal. Yeah, we had rainstorms and heat waves and you name it. It was there. Yeah, it was an adventure, but it was a lot of fun. And yeah. I really, I'm gonna go again. really oh, enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, I'll go I, again next year. I definitely wouldn't want to miss another one. And no. I highly recommend it to y'all. And this is your first like knitting retreat kind yes. of thing, right? Yeah. 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 It was. Yeah. So. It was a good one for you to be it's your first. It's always fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm recommend so if y'all are looking for a knitting retreat to go to and especially if you're I guess anxious about going to a retreat because you don't know a lot of knitters or anything like that I definitely recommend the frivolous and frugal yeah it's a good place to make friends everybody was really absolutely friendly, very friendly. Mm -hmm. if you want yeah. to join in you can always join in mm -hmm. pull up a tape pull up a chair sit at any table yep. it was very fun yeah I enjoyed it yeah, yeah. I agree had a good time. All right, so I showed my sweater whip. The other whip I've got is a sock that I'm in the middle of turning a heel. Whoop. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. So this is in Hack Yarn Co. in Mermaid Hair Don't Care. <laughs> I love the name. I do too. <laughs> so, it is a heavily speckled variegated it will not pull. It looks like it's micro striping a little. It kind yeah. of does. Like the green has yeah. kind of striped with the purple. Um, so yeah. Just it's a pretty. vanilla. It's pretty. Just a sock. 
That's my whip, is this and the cardigan. So this is for car pickup and the cardigan is for dedicated knitting time at the house. You're gonna have nice. to have quite. Yes, it'll, it'll fly. What are you working on? Well, so the other day I get a message on Instagram that says, check out this. If you test it, I'll dye it. <laughs> of course I'm gonna go look. And I did. It was in all caps. I think I put like 10 exclamation yeah. points. Yeah, so it was an emergency. Funny. Like I had to go, go like, quickly. Go now. <laughs> and okay, first of all, she offered to dye me yarn. So I didn't have to pick out anything. Well, I did pick out colors ish. Like we chatted. Mm -hmm. But anyway, and then I go to see the test and it's Tammy Gore. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, I will not get this test in, but I will offer to do so. I got it. And it's beautiful. Um, which is nice because I don't know if you've looked at her patterns. If you have not, please go look them up because she has so many patterns that you're just like, oh, I want to knit that. Oh, I want to mm -hmm. knit that. My problem is I can't decide which one to knit. So this was decided for me and it was fabulous and I'm thankful for that. So I am test knitting this. I do not know for sure when it's coming out. She did say we could post it on social media, so I guess this is social media. It's called the Toast and Honey Shawl. And it is simply delightful to knit. I am nearly done, I'm on the border. So it is super fun. Um, well, I know the test is due by the 2nd of September. Mm -hmm. So I would guess sometime early September, early to mid September, if I had to guess, possibly. Um, oh, oh, I'm tangled up in there. You're gonna be the first one done with this, aren't you? Yeah, I think there's somebody else who's already okay. done. Um, no way. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> really? Yeah, um, I took time and uh, took a couple days and knit hearts. Oh yeah, bless so, your heart. Um, my heart's still in my purse, so you can show it. Oh, okay. And then it is also not only in, oh my God. You are thoroughly What tangled. have I done? Yours? I think that's it. Okay. I think you're good. Then I also have a fabulous bag from Hack Yarn Co. to house said yarn of awesomeness. Oh, oh, oh where's my, and I guess it, it held my three skeins of DK weight and my project. So I have more. I think I'm going to do another one and change the colors just because I liked it so much. Um, I also am in love with the color choices that we did, this cranberry and bourbon, and then I don't know what we should call this one, but I don't know, I couldn't even name it. skein shawl, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, y'all. It is the squishiest Perfection. yarn. Perfection. It is so squishy and it's so nice. Here's the heart. Oh. Yay. Um, I had to take a break and knit little hearts. I knit a couple for Tasha's boys too. So, was it last year? We, yeah, last year we did them for did a them net, for, net. for a she homeless had, thing. Right. So we knit all these little tiny hearts, and it was right coming up on school. the start of school. So Ellie was starting preschool, preschool. and so I knit, knit her a little heart, and of course Eliza wanted one, so I knit her one, and then I knit all these little hearts and to give to Annette. And they they take like an hour or two to knit, maybe two hours. Or if I sit down in the evening, it might take me till I go to bed and that heart's done. Um, so um, they're really easy, really fast. They only take a couple grams of yarn. I use the Tannis Lovely pattern, Lovely yeah. pattern, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah, from Tannis Fiber Arts. Yes, yeah. Totally love it, but Annetta messaged me and said, I need a huge favor the other day. I'm like, okay, what's up? What do you need? She's like, I can't knit at Aria's heart. She's going to preschool and she needs her heart for preschool. And demanded it. Aria did. Yes, she's yes, like, she don't be knitting my heart. Right. <laughs> That's yes. right. Yes. So Annetta's like, I can't knit that. And I was like, I got you. What color? Purple. Found some purple. purple. And had it done... 
by the time Jason went to go pick up our dinner at Aranda's where they were, it was already done. And I'd already sent her a picture. <laughs> but the funny thing was I told I told Aria, I said, I can't knit your heart that you need for to put in your backpack for school. And I, she had this devastated look on her face, and she can cry at the drop of a hat. So you have to be very careful about how you phrase things. <laughs> and I said, but I made a phone call, and someone is knitting your heart for you. And she gives me this big old grin, and she goes, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, yes, Lindsay's going to knit your heart. I said, and that is sad that I can't knit it, but I'm very glad that somebody else could knit it for you. So um, anyway... I'll see her tomorrow, yes. and she will get her heart for her backpack. Just and in time. I messaged Tasha. I was like, hey, do your boys need these? Because <laughs> yes. I, I had finished that one, and I was like, you know, they are kind of fun to knit, because you just do do do, mm -hmm. and then stuff them, and do them, and then they're done. They're and quick. They're quick, and they're fast. And you know what? Sometimes you just need that little palette cleanser, palette cleanser that's almost instant gratification. And it's not like other little things that you knit. Like, they don't make your hands hurt. The right. gauge you're knitting at isn't terrible. It's very... Oh. So, hers are... Aren't one they is different. cute? The Ninja Turtle one is... Yes, the Ninja Turtle one is, is 100%. Uh, it's, it's all DVD. I love them. I had to be careful on the road trip one, on the Atlas one, because I didn't want to put the blue in there, because then it had her hand blue. Mm. Um... They're super easy and they're really fun. So I was like, Tasha, do your boys need these? She's like, yes. I was like, same or different? Different. All yeah. right. Got them done. So I was like, well, while I'm knitting them, I might as well just knit two more. It kind of come in handy. My uh, eldest granddaughter last year apparently was a little upset at nap time. And her teacher told her she could go get her heart out of her backpack. Aw. And so she held it and was able to take her little nap. So they've come in handy. The girls really appreciate them. So I was glad that Lindsay could step up to the plate since I obviously can't knit anything little. Eliza's is in her, she has a box that has all of her extra supplies in her mm -hmm. locker. So it's it's there. I don't think she takes it out, but she said, oh, I have to take that. And I said, okay. Yeah, they need them at school. It reminds them of their families. They're just cute. Mm -hmm. They're little stuffies. They shouldn't fall apart, so... They're, they're good to go. And then, strangely enough, I have another whip on the go. Which Surprise. is strange. Which is strange, because I do have a sock, too. And I've got a a clincher upstairs that I forgot how to do the border on. Like, I forgot. <laughs> the one from the... From the yeah, I haven't looked at it. Um, I'm on the border, so I'm... Right. Done. But, um... My brain won't get past the direction, so I just have to give it a minute. It needs to be in timeout. So, I started something else instead because Tasha was like, you're going to start this when we get home, right? And I was like, uh, yes, yeah. I only have had those yarns since February. So, for my birthday, Jason had sent me with money to rebel, and I decided I really wanted to knit the Nittle Chick. Nittle Chick Swan Show. That's it. By Caitlin Hunter. And I've had it in my, I've had, i purchased the pattern and I've had it purchased for a long time. Oh my God, a long time. Because I knit I, my sisters like four years ago. Ever since it was like the thing to yeah. knit, like everyone was knitting them and I just never did. So like I'm 100% late to the game, 100% know that. Um, but I decided finally, you know what, I'm going to knit that thing. And let me tell you, color work is a lot like striping a garment. Oh Yes. You got to get to that next spot. Yep. And it is delightful. Yes, it is. And I love your color choices. I am loving it. I have the same base as Tasha, so that nougat color. And then this is blackberry. The purple is blackberry. There's a little bit of gold in there. And the teal is called deep teal. So nougat, blackberry, deep teal, and gold. And it's colors. all the cascade. And it's all the G and tweed. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it is very nice. My only concern is that I'm going to be like, I'm sweating to death. But I think I'll be okay. It'll I'll be just a warm work. one. Especially because it's color work. Too, yeah. But but I, I it also okay. is flowy at the bottom. Yeah, so you're going to so, get some airflow. Yeah, and I, so it's loose. I did knit the that's larger true. size. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping. Except yeah. the, the downside to all this 
is I'm doing color work over an obscene amount of stitches it feels like and so like I'm repeating this over and over and mm -hmm. over and over and I keep repeating it and I'm like I gotta be close and I'm not even halfway around the dang circle <laughs> I'm like Jesus Mary mm -hmm. I, I don't does it, it does it do color work all the way to the bottom ribbing or does no, it stop no, it's like stuff like, about here yeah okay. so like there's a lot of plain color. Yeah, there's a lot of plain. And I figure if I run out, because I have, I mean, I have three more balls of the main color upstairs. I shouldn't run out, but if I did, I'm just going to add some of the extra color. Yeah. Oh, cups color. and but, things like that. That's and... cute. I like that sweaters. That's always cute when they mirror the, like, mm -hmm. they repeat a tiny version of the color work mm -hmm. at the cups or I the bottom. I thought really. about once I get the sleeves split, putting stoppers on the end of my bottom part mm -hmm. and going ahead and doing the sleeves and then just knitting whatever I have left for the body that way if I make it a little bit longer it'll be yeah mm -hmm. and then I don't have to worry about it because right. then if I want I can add like a stripe of each of the colors at the bottom, color the yeah. bottom yeah. Yeah. and be bind off with one of them mm -hmm. maybe I, I think know. you're going to be good on your yarn though I think I, I am really too do, but, but you know how you yeah, yeah. But you can always, you don't want to crack into the fourth ball, you know, but you're close. You can always do the color work yeah. and then you have that fourth ball for later yeah. or something else. And, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I think I'll be fine, but my thought was just to go ahead and knock the sleeves out. I think that's a good call. Just to get them done because you know how that goes. That is really pretty. My sister said that it's something that she likes to wear like in the fall before mm -hmm. she needs a coat. Yeah, mm. because you know, Especially walking outside, and, and she's walking downtown, you know, in between high rise buildings mm. where the wind whips, and she said this helps. So, I did not go online because <clears throat> I know that there were some modifications for the neck, but I think the neck will be okay. It looks good, it, it look, doesn't look like it'll be too tight. If it is, I'll just you know what, I'll figure it out. I mean, so the nice thing about a pattern knitting a viral pattern is that the odds are there's extensive notes and Ravelry, but that's the reason that I like to wait. Like when you said you were late to the party, mm -hmm. I think it's good to go late on purpose and let everybody else figure out like what yep. all the gremlins in the system are so that then you can go through and read their notes. So I don't know. I don't, I, I tried it on and it like I stuck it on mm -hmm. and my head went through just fine and I felt like it laid fine. And it's it looks like it's, it's big enough here that it's not going to choke you. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the that's the thing you need to just be concerned and about. It looks fine. I'll probably, and it'll relax. And when I relax it and block mm. it a little bit, that'll hit my gauge. Because it's yeah. a wooly wool, so it will yeah, relax. Yeah, it's going to bloom too mm -hmm. a little bit. Probably. Yeah, it's so pretty and it so really squishy. Is. I love that yarn. I love though. to look at the back. Like, am I the only one who's always like, No, oh, I always look at my back. It's so pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So, on the one hand, it speeds me up doing color work because, like you said, you're like, I just want to get to that next section. But then it slows me down because I don't like it in my arm. You lay it out and spread it yeah. a little bit and look at it. Floats yeah. And, yeah. Now, you did say, there is I seem to remember this too. There's like a couple places. Two with rows, I think. Three in colors. One of the chart where you're three colors. I hate that crap. Um, I can't, like I know Ananda had mentioned it, but you forgot. But in my <laughs> fever of starting in the half a decade that you let pass, uh, you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was, I wasn't trying to say yeah, that. It was four or five years ago, and I didn't take Maybe it was. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Oh, son of a biscuit! I don't know how to do that." And so I yeah. winged it. It's fine. I oh, just you can do it. It's oh, just yeah. annoying. It, sl like, it slows you way down. Yeah, that don't row is feel about really slow. I don't. I don't like three colors in a yeah, row. Because you know it you're so used to room. knitting yeah. like this with both fingers, and all of a sudden you're like, "Whoop!" Now I got to add a color, and you have to reach down and pick it up. Yeah, and I feel like it breaks, it breaks the, the rules. rules. Yeah, it that does. You're used to doing yeah, it. I don't like right. it, and that's living in my fast squirrel fiber. Bags. I don't like three colors per row, and I don't like it when they go more than five stitches without using. That it. makes me so sad, I especially like when you're words. trying to do like a hat. Yes. Okay, so you're doing a hat, and it's color work. And say it's like in a fingering way or something, mm -hmm. and you're having to catch it all the time. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, because inevitably you have to move it one stitch or another. So that oh, it or you're going to start seeing it through the back too. Yeah. And 
It's just it's glowing. It's so much more thought process, and I'm like, friends, I love me some color work. But you're slowing me down. Oh, the rules. And I, I can't be handling this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to not like it. Now, I will say the um, August hat, I don't think that there was but, like, one or two spots where you had to do it. And it was, like, for two rows that you had. Because you had an eight stitch five. repeat. Yeah. I think there's like two rows. That's that, gorgeous though. That was not hard. Um, that was easy to move around. Yeah. So. And then I have a, a sock. The other sock is in process. But having two larger projects on the needle is a little crazy for me. And I've got another cowl cast on upstairs. But it turned my fingers colors and I quit. I'll get it done later. Stupid brown. But it's so pretty. Like it looks pretty. <laughs> it does look pretty, but it just makes my hands look like a dentist. I was going to say, I have reached the in the complete round. Uh huh. It's taking me two days. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. You made it. See, that's what the sticker's for. Exactly. It will get done or not. I've been cross stitching because it's easier. But. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. I was yeah. on Amazon looking up a bunch of subversive cross oh stitches God, for you. <laughs> the one about the mm -hmm. um Dave goes. Well, if you made that one, he goes, it's funny. But where would you hang it? The I'm bathroom, like, wherever I want. Your office. Yeah, I, your well, bathroom. Yeah. Can I yeah. put it in your truck? I said I could give it to somebody. <laughs> right. <laughs> But I'm gonna have fun Christmas. knitting it. Got a couple of Christmas ideas. Right. Yeah. So uh, I am just doing a little bit of other things just to stay busy. And I've been reading a lot, so but I get oh, bored or easy upstairs. without knitting. Yay. What you what What are you working on? You this want to show your is sweater? the vanilla sweater. I've seen a couple people. It didn't. Uh, Becky, uh, Becky finished hers. Finished hers. Too, yeah. And who cast it on? Or would wanted to? Was it Bindu? I think so. We talked about casting um, on This that? is the, it's a, a, a kit that I got from um, the Willing Thistle and Corinne Tomlinson designed it. And it is your very basic vanilla sweater. There's only four rows on the ribbing at the top. Love that. Um, yeah. So basically I've got like something like 12 or 13 row inches to go before I put in my ribbing at the bottom and then sleeves. Um, so it's super simple. The raglan stitches are real easy. There was a little bit of short rows in the back, but not a lot. So it's just a very basic sweater and it is knit out of Ramu Garn Fenwall. And this color is 41.27. It's a bluish gray. A bluey gray. Seems to be my theme today. There's a lots of bluish There's gray in my. Uh, it's okay, but it's one of those colors that is easy to what, air it, with. Look, things. right so here you can see a little green mm -hmm. when it just lay it flat out. You, you see a little bit of green. I can wear with everything. So Ooh, black pants, white pants, khakis, right? Yeah, short right. shorts, whatever. Over a dress, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's perfect. So anyway, and it's a little bit of a rustic wool. Mm -hmm. But um, that's kind of my jam these days. So they had the uh, wool, uh, wool and co. Yep. I saw like a a bookshelf of it. And yes, they walked did. away quickly so that I didn't. Actually I touched it all, right. and I debated another sweater quantity. I think it's really pretty. I touched it and ran. <laughs> I was like, no. I'm a I don't weirdo. Lie. I don't love the rusticy wools like. Unless I know that it is going to, all that nonsense is going to wash out. I like, it makes me itch, like it makes my skin itchy. Yeah. I like rustic for garments if I'm going to be wearing a t-shirt or something under. Right. I can't do, I will not do rustic socks. And I can't do anything around the neck or the forehead. I'm very sensitive. Right. Like the most sensitive skin on my body is right here. I don't it, know it doesn't bother me. I can put it anywhere. I love it on socks. That is awesome. I like it on a hat. Um, I, I like the way it wicks water mm -hmm. so much. Um, 
I'm jealous. I wish it didn't itch me because I love the qualities of true wool that hasn't yeah. been super washed. Yeah. I have a cardigan that I knit years and years and years ago, and it's got cables and welts and all kinds of stuff in it. And it was in Cascade Eco Wool, mm -hmm. which is on the scratchier side. Mm -hmm. And um, it is my winter coat. Mm -hmm. And we went to Scotland. I had that, and then I had a rain jacket. That's all I took was a lightweight rain jacket and that. And I think I wore it every day. I mean, just it just keeps you warm, and you know, it's big enough that you can wear a heavier sweater on underneath of it if I wanted to. And it's just, it's my favorite cardigan I've ever knit. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's antimicrobial because it's true wool, so you can yeah. wear it that yeah. way just over and over again. Yeah, it gets washed once a year, mm -hmm. you know, and I mean, that's just the way it is, but I mean, it has become my outer, my coat. I like it for that, you know, but I don't like a big heavy coat normally anyway. Yeah. Um, and it works really well. So I just, I have a thing for the rustic wools. So how's your Christmas journey coming? Doing good? So. Revamping? Um, so far I'm doing good. I ended up, I'm knocking the socks out first because yeah. I cast that sweater on and that's a selfish knit, but oh well, I knit for mm -hmm. me, so. There you go. Um, you know, so far, um, I've gotten two pairs of socks knocked off the list and I'm taking a quick break for a sweater for me, but I did get that yarn at Wool & Co for Chris's hat, mm -hmm. so, um, I think I've pretty much bought all the yarn that I need to have to make the projects I intend to make. So. Me too. I need one more skein. I need a... Okay. A dark green, but I don't want it. I want it like a tonal dark emeraldy green. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Like tonal, like maybe like a Malabrigo type? Malabrigo-y. Yeah. Mad Tosh yeah. mm -hmm. type. Um, Mad Tosh has some beautiful greens. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's something that... I, I probably just need to go to Rebella. I know they have a good selection of Mad Tosh and Malabrigo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need it in fingering. Because I'm going to do another pair of those mitts for Chanel. The cabled ones? The cabled ones. Okay. So I don't want it like... I have to... I don't know. That's true. But that's my plan. But I think I'm doing okay. I feel more like I'm behind just because I've picked up a shawl and a sweater, a sweater yeah. and yeah. things that I didn't yeah. intend to pick up. But then I'm like, you're just knitting socks. It's not like it's not like it's that big of a deal. You still have like almost 20 weeks. Yeah, and beyond that, I've got yeah. a hat coming each month. I think one of the hats uh, November hat maybe my sister wants a like a plummy eggplanty colored hat and I think that one is or at least it's going to be close enough Sweet. Um, so I'll knock that out yeah. and then I've still got I've given some hats away and because God knows I don't need 12 hats like I just <laughs> it's to the point where I'm just like do you want a hat here, have a, a hat. hat. <laughs> yeah. And I just give them away. Um, which I don't care. If I want to knit them again, I can. Um, I only did it to see if I could you know what? I don't even know why I did it. Just a challenge, I guess. I don't know. It's kinda of random. Just yeah. for the knit of it. Yeah. Just for the knit of it, exactly. Yeah. Um, but I did oh, here's my um anyway. Uh but I did do things that I hadn't done before, so I think that was probably the biggest thing where mm -hmm. Normally, if I pick a hat to knit, it is something that I specifically have chosen. Like, I like to do these things. I'm going to do this. Mm. It you doesn't the have skill this. Builders. Right. So you've done cables and I've done bobbles and cables. Yeah, lap 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 braids. Yeah. Weird stitches that involve Cabling with two hook. cable needles. Cabling with two cable You know, that hat turned out really pretty. I know. It kind of makes you mad, doesn't it? Like, you're hoping it doesn't work out because if it's pretty, you're like, yeah, I'm going to have to yeah. do it again. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. That turned out cute. So, and you, so you're doing like hats and fingerless mitts and socks, right? You're not, For the most part, yeah. yeah. I I have 
a clincher on the needles that I need to I just need to finish it once my brain gets back into I bet the next time you pick it up you oh. won't even have to look up how to do it you'll just I know and it was like my brain was like you are not doing this right sometimes now. it'd be like that so I just put it down yeah. and I was like it'll get done yeah um because that'll take me no time. no time at all. Yeah. Like, I'm literally on the bind off you part. See, most of mine is hats. Yeah, and those will and be. And then um, the sweater for mom. And I just finished the sweater for mm -hmm. Tammy. So I'm really, I feel pretty good, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. that even with three or four weeks without being able to do anything, hopefully that's yeah. it. Um, I should not have any trouble doing it. Worst case is we crowdsource mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. Well, worst case is they get them later. I mean, mom's sweater, if it doesn't get finished, it'll be in a box for her to say, like, this is what's happening. No, she doesn't. I mean, sense. they all know, so mm -hmm. everybody well, knows. Well, like the girls' hats and stuff, we can well, definitely crowdsource those. They all know that you can knock a hat, yeah. hat out. Yeah, I mean, they're all laughing at me because they I love to call me Grace, out. so. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. But, um, so, and the hats for the girls, I mean, they're easy. They're going to be oh, easy. Yeah. I want to add that one strand of mm -hmm. funky stuff, like in the brim mm -hmm. and then, or in the. Yeah, the brim, the brim. The brim. Okay. But how big could their sweet yeah. little noggins be? You know what I mean? It's like 60 yeah, stitches in their compared rounds. to what you think. Well, um, Darcy's head's bigger than Aria's, and Darcy's two years younger. That's because Aria's Ari teeny tiny. Yeah, Aria's so teeny tiny. She's yeah. petite. Yeah. I told her yesterday, I said, you know, I can't knit your socks. And she goes, what? And Darcy's said, is bigger because of the and horns. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, I said, as soon as That's I can knit tiny, too. I will finish your socks. Because I'm halfway through one of them, so it's not like it's mm -hmm. going to take up. She's the tiny one. Even the baby, I think, is going to be bigger than, <laughs> than Aria. So it's like, I'll get it done, I promise. Yeah, but... Yeah, they're just there to be done. Like, yeah. they were your workaround anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah, they were like carry around in the car and at church or whatever. Yeah. 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 And they all want to paint my cast. So I told them they could write their name on the inside. There you go. I don't want them to. Well, why? And I said, because it just needs to be on the inside. They told me to keep it clean. And they did. Because so. I said so. Yeah. But, you know, when they write their names, they're going to write them so big that yeah. it's going to cover it anyway. But. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that'll be fun. Yeah, I'm going to let them do that. So be on super washable markers that Crayola makes. I'm going to learn to use a Sharpie and roll. Okay. Yeah. So beyond Christmas knits, what are your plans for you knitting? So Other I'm, than your Winter's Beach. Um, because we know, we know that's going to get done. So the Winter's Beach is the last new project that I plan on starting for this year. Um, okay. The rest of the year... I'm gonna finish all the sweaters that I've already started because in January I do like tossing the stash and revisiting my queue and filling project bags and I usually do that around New Year's so I want to try and get through as many whips. You have a couple as on the I go, can. yeah. Yeah, I've got a lot. I've got a lot of whips. Not to mention all the like half finished socks and just clean them out. Mm -hmm. Or as Penny likes to say, fish or cut bait. Yep. That's a January thing for me, man. Fish or cup eight. That's, yeah. But I know it's coming up, so I just want to finish yeah. some of those whips and get them out of the way, have that project bag back, and all that good stuff. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. What about you? Um, beyond Christmas stuff, I want to do my vest. Mm -hmm. And I do have yarn for the Sabella. So I'm like, is that? I don't know. I might just wing it. Or either See what it calls my name. You know how everybody always does like a Rhinebeck sweater, even if they're not going to Rhinebeck. Are y'all gonna do anything like that this fall? I'm feeling called to shawls more than like I, I knit a lot of garments in the. I've been knitting on garments a lot, but I've been feeling the urge to shawl. There is a shawl. A Tammy Gore shawl. Has fringe on it something about soul in my soul to my soul now i gotta look i accidentally dropped my phone in my bag somewhere and i totally want to knit it now worsted weight or it's yeah knit in worsted and that sounds squishy and amazing i just don't know why but i'm like in the mood for that i agree fingering white shawls are very cute 
but there's something about like a DK or worsted shawl that it's like you're wearing a blanket all day and it's just the coziest. You know, I'm not the hipster light, but I was looking at the hipster the other day and I have enough Mayak to knit the <gasps> hipster. So I think uh, that might be my winter, like my January yes. cast on me. I might be that think shawl. that that you should totally feel be. so yeah, I think luscious. That's, I realized I had enough Mayak for it in one color because I bought all of it on clearance mm. at Rebel. Oh yeah. And I have enough in, in one color that I can just knit that hipster. So Ooh. that's what I'm gonna And that'd be nice sweet and cozy to knit on when it's so cold. Is what sweet I want to knit. Soul. Oh, heck yeah. I might need a yes. an order. I can do it. That is gorgeous. Let me get up here and I can do it. I'm trying to lose another set of stitch markers. That is another gorgeous. Stitches. I need to get Ooh. more. I can't believe I'm saying that. Needs not the word. I want I to love get that more fringe. stitch I stoppers. I like that it. has become the notion du jour. I want them on everything. I I, I have a baby Yoda missing. I don't know where he went. Oh. I think he fell. Oh, yeah, I totally want to knit this. I don't know why. I've and got it's worst the it. Slots, it's worst it. And I've got the little like neon balls. But always looking for more. Actually, I think I like the ball kind of needle stopper. The most. I like them because I like because they're tiny too. I do too. Yeah. Like they don't. I lost one of those. They don't. I also like my coconuts. Stuff in the bag. It don't oh, bounce off the I table like so the I you know I have all these sweaters that I plan on knitting. I mean I've knit a lot this year. Yeah, you yeah. have. Um, but I have one, two, three, four started, mm -hmm. and I need to finish those four for me. Yes. And then I can plan new sweaters for mm -hmm. me. But, you know, I, when we got home from that trip, that meetup, all I wanted to do was cast on that yes. one with that alpaca. And yes. I just got it started and then hurt my hand. And it's like, <sighs> I really can't do that now. Right. You know, so it's just sitting and it's taunting me. <laughs> um, because that is the ultimate sweater for me. That is like such a cushy, mm -hmm. wear a t-shirt under it. Don't wear anything under it. Just wear it with everything under the sun from sweatpants to dressy clothes. You just know, a I mean, classic just, wardrobe staple. Oh my gosh. It just, and it just called my name. And then I found out after I bought the yarn, that Lane was doing a knit along with it. That's right. And I'm like, really? I mean, I had no clue. That that wasn't even going to happen. I just knew I wanted to knit that sweater right. when I saw it. That's, and well, it's rare for one to like hit me that hard that I immediately go buy the yarn. And, yeah. yeah, not just I want the sweater, but I want this sweater in, in that, that yarn. yarn. And, yeah. yeah, that's not something that ha like It's been a reason, while. Like, it doesn't happen to me very often. I don't remember the last time. The last time I felt that way, it was the Mama cardigan by Pippin Pin. And she knit it in Madeline Tosh in grace notes which kind of looks like helping hippos but it's a gray with a rainbow speckle and it's just like a very i think it's like a tiny honeycomb cable all the way down the back or something but just that pattern in that yarn specifically i know what i, I like, know what it was what was it remember that sock that rock sock monkey yes <laughs> i had to do it in socks that rock uh -huh. <laughs> well, we saw. Did you see the pattern at the fold? Yeah, uh -huh. they had it. Right yeah, they had the pattern. And there. I was like, "Well, so it wasn't just my monkey. No. It's an odd shaped sock monkey." Yeah. Yep, had to have it. Yeah. Hey, it's a monkey only a mother could love. He got home. He got home. I don't know where he is. Yep, I think. I mean, That's I. So funny. I I just I've never had a sweater that just hit me like that one did though. And yeah. It was like, so. I'm glad that it's still taunting me from the bag that's sitting in my living room in a basket. I think my problem is is sweaters don't taunt me because I I ponder so hard and have so much trouble with color choice. I'm like, oh gosh, oh gosh. And then by the time I decide to do it, I've pondered it yes or no. I've gone through three or four different color thoughts and then that, like what size and do I need? It out. And then I, I'm not that ex I'm excited, but I'm not like yeah. So that's pretty much all we have as far as like our acquisitions, FOs, wits. We got a little shop update info for Hack Yarn Co. Yes. So, so uh, stick around if you want. <laughs> yeah. So that that's it for the the knitting portion of the podcast. Um. 
So I'm gonna talk a little bit about some yarn that I've dyed and some bags that I'm, that I'm sewing in an update, but if that is not your thing, thanks for joining us and for coming to the podcast. Um, we're really glad you came back after the break that we took. Hopefully we can get better on schedule with yes. more structure in our lives. We've got a new routine now. Yeah. So, uh, since the kids have gone back to school, I'm doing a back to school update. So that'll go live on the 22nd. I'm going to do that at noon. So August 22nd. And I brought a couple of the colors to show. Okay. Oh my Lord. So yeah. this one, hopefully they show up nice and bright. This is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Oh my gosh. And it is truly fluorescent. It it's is. very it's bright. <gasps> this is Karma Darling. And it Karma. is like electric raspberry. Yes, it is. Oh, that that one's pretty too. This one's called Mine. And it's just teal, it's tonal. And this one's called Honey Crisp. Yes, it so is. So it's my first apple color. And it does have some green speckling that very little, <gasps> so but it got caught up a little bit in the so twist. Cute. I love that. <gasps> I love it. So those are four of the colors. And then on this update, I'm going to be bringing project bags into the shop. So I will have sweater size and sock size drawstring project bags and a few of them will be uh, pre-made ready to go and then I'll also have some fabrics so that you can um, just custom order your own drawstring bag. So these are these sweater size bags. They comfortably hold three to four skeins and your project. Mm -hmm. yep. They have a duck cloth bottom. They are fully lined. Yes, they are. Looks so cute. Of a cotton cord and cotton drawstring handle. So they're vegan. And yeah, they're awesome. Oh, they're cute. They got a box bottom, so it'll stand up right next to your chair. And I love that I can just like hook it on my purse or my hand mm -hmm. and go out and go with there. Or the arm of though. a chair. That's yeah. what it reminds me Yeah. Of. So all the fabrics this first go around, I've got dinosaurs, I've got books. It's very back to school. I have apples. I have Very cute. some super cute Star Wars alphabet. Um, the Disney uh, Pixar oh, one is that one. super cute. So yeah, so I'll... Um, I need to get me one of those. That update will go up August 22nd. And um, yeah, and I guess that's all I got to say. About Check it out. Backyardco.com. Thank you. Yep. Pack your Pack your talk. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. I think. Is there anything else? Have we got anything else? Um, we will be going to the wool gathering mm -hmm. September. How far? 16th, 17th, 18th. That's what I wanted to say. I was going to say 15th, yeah. 16th, but yeah, I don't know where I got the dates Yeah, in Yellow from. Springs, Ohio. Yes, in Yellow Springs, Ohio. Um, Mm -hmm. That's probably we'll the put it up. We'll put it up when the, when the date is. I'm pretty sure it's in the teens. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. That weekend of the teens in September. So we um, hope if you're somewhat local, first of all, we hope we'll get a podcast out before that point so that we have we more will, concrete. No, no, no. We will get we a will. podcast out. Several. Two, at least. Easy Theoretically. Tiger. Easy hey, Tiger. We two, will get a two. podcast. <laughs> we'll get two out. This one and another one. Okay. <laughs> we'll get two podcasts out. <laughs> Unless it turns out that it's earlier in September than we thought it was. I'm pretty sure it's in the teens. I'm just like to say calendar. that it's going to be like September 2nd. Um, no. It's not Labor Day weekend. I think no. it's in the teens. Wisconsin Sheep and Wool is the weekend before it. It's the weekend of the 15th, 16th, and 17th. Okay. Because Sheep and Wool is the weekend before. Yes. And that's at Young's Dairy. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'd like to finagle milkshakes out of the trip this we time. Can go in oh my there. gosh, we need to this time. It was so hot last time. Though. It was hot, and the Ugh. line was like, Ugh. and it yeah. was just gross. I felt like if I had a milkshake, I might be sick. So 
I know. It yeah, was roasty. It was that, it was that um, kind of hot. So if you plan on going, to keep an eye on the weather. Bring lots of water. Bring your water. And please come find us. Like, I can't downplay how much that gets us completely over the moon excited when somebody comes up and talks to us. Absolutely. And knows us. Please don't judge and... me if I have a neck fan going. Yeah, that's, this is a judgment-free yeah. zone. I think I'll have to take my neck fan this year. We gotta get you one. Mm-hmm. Yep, absolutely. It's Does lovely. it feather your hair in the breeze? Is it like having... no. No. It's not like being in a walking not a shot. Yeah, you know, you have a fair faucet. <laughs> But yeah. it will keep you from sweating. I'll take so it. Bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll take I don't it. Need a sweaty beast, especially when you're looking at yarn. Make one That's for like... my neck and one for under my boobs. <laughs> they have. They have them. They like pull on your britches and they blow up. And they blow up into your shirt. <laughs> I <laughs> love one. We were discussing that one day. Yeah. yeah. We're like, this will be amazing. I see the choke on her coat. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you definitely want to come find us. We'll be wearing britches fans. <laughs> And you know, our shirts will be all billowed out. <laughs> God. Totally gonna do it. I'm gonna be wearing a dress. We'll look like, like Aunt really. Marge. You have to put it on your underwear then. Oh, that's okay. I'm gonna wear a dress so that I can have a personal fan. Did you like some nice, healthy breeze? <laughs> About the bits. Yes. To all right. the car, you go, oh, God. Underwear. You stick your foot up over the Especially in the day when you had to wear hose to work. Oh, oh God. God. You know, my That's my murder. Career, when that was my career, was wearing That's panty hose to work every day. Nice. Yes. What was it Dolly Parton said in Steel Magnolias? These thighs haven't been without lycra since I was 16 years old. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty much the extent of me for like several. Oh, yeah. Until yeah. I was probably in my mid 30s. Yeah. Huh. Yep. But we'll be there sweating with you if you come. With britches fans. Maybe. We gotta order them. Definitely neck fans. Yeah, definitely neck fans. Because <laughs> they are the bomb. Yes. All right. Well, thanks for coming back. Thanks for joining us. We'll Have catch you win. next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.